This video, we're gonna really quickly talk about how we're gonna prepare our athletes for the CrossFit Open. We're referring to the first stage, three weeks of tests. We now have six weeks until that day. We're about to enter a six week intensification phase. Intensification really just means relative to what we have been doing, we're gonna to start to see training that looks a little bit more like the training or the test we're gonna see in the CrossFit Open. We're now gonna focus on building confidence through experience. So it's not so much about getting stronger or fitter or picking up on skills now. A lot of that work needs to have already been done previously to this. We're now gonna to try to expose our athletes to as many different movements, combinations of movements in a variety of different settings of workouts that we may see in the cross or open. What we mean by building confidence is that when the tests do come up over the three weeks, we want people to have experiences that they can remember back on in the last six weeks and actually use those experiences to build an idea or a picture of how the workout's gonna feel, create a, an ideal strategy to help them execute the workout more effectively. Exposure to as many possible variations. We now know roughly what the movement's gonna be, what the time domain's gonna be like, and now it's about taking all those movements and combining them in as many ways, shapes, and forms as possible. So let's quickly talk about the cross open. What do we know? We know that we're gonna see some dumbbell movements. We know that based on last year, and of course this is all guesstimates, we're gonna be working for between eight to 20 minutes. So we need to be really proficient at working within this time frame. We know that the barbell, based on last year's equipment list, is going to be moderately heavy relative to what we see at the higher levels of competition. We know that we're gonna to have to probably do some fatigue-based strength tests, uh, which means that after a conditioning piece, we're then gonna to have to elicit or build to something heavy. It might be an absolute strength test, like a squat or a deadlift or a press, or we may see something like an Olympic lift like we saw last year. We're gonna to have to prepare ourselves for complementary and non-complementary styles of movements or workouts. When we say complementary, it means that the movement selection within a workout is challenging different muscle groups and different muscle patterns or movement patterns, I should say. So for example, something like a double under into a push-up into a deadlift are working kind of different forms of movement and different muscle groups. Whereas something like a double under, an air squat, and a shoulder to overhead, we work in movement patterns that are more similar, and that would be something that we would call non complementary Generally, most of the year, we spend time doing complementary style pieces of training, but it's important the next six weeks, we've got to expose ourselves to those really challenging non complementary styles of tests. Make sure we refer to the equipment list. This video right now is shot on um, last year's equipment list, but that of course may change. Once you have that equipment list, you then got to sit down pen and paper and think about all the possible movements that may come up using that equipment list. And then you got to expose yourself to those movements. Of course, if they're new movements you haven't done before, we will start by operating them or executing them in an isolated setting. If you feel comfortable operating and executing in an isolated setting, then we start to add more fatigue to those movements. The very last thing now, six weeks out, I'd highly recommend that you adjust your schedule now. What we mean by adjusting your schedule is that your training week should replicate what your competition week is gonna look like. So if you're someone who's gonna jump into your affiliate class and do it on a Saturday, well, at this point in time, you need to make sure that you're doing your hardest pieces of training that are replicating the open test on a Saturday. If you're someone who's thinking about attempting each open workout twice, for example, on a Friday and on a Monday, then in your training now, you need to make sure you are training with a hard piece on a Friday and a hard piece on a Wednesday. Not only is, gonna set, is that gonna set you up for success come competition time, because your body's gonna be ready to be having to bring more resources to those workouts, it's also gonna allow you to come out of the cross open in a healthier state, because you've built up the resiliency for the actual tests.